okay so uh, for this video at uh, check natin ngayon ang uh, real power output nitong class D amplifier so sa, as specified sa kanyang uh, technical parameters um, at 4 ohms may output daw siyang uh, 500 watts ayun, which is uh, questionable so with this uh, SMPS power supply uh, with an output of positive negative 65 volts DC so yun ang susukay natin dito which is the recommended power supply for this uh, budget mill class D amplifier ang range ng power supply nito is uh, from uh, positive negative 48 volt DC up to positive negative uh, 70 volts DC but then recommended ang 65 volts positive negative okay so for the setup uh, signal gen um, input mag input tayo ng 1 kilohertz so so bababa muna natin to ng 1 volt peak to peak Ayan, labo. One na ba yun? Three. Ayan, one. One, walk pick to pick. So, aakit tayo mamaya until five volts pick to pick. So, sa so specs, kailangan daw nito ng 1.5 volts uh, pick to pick uh, input signal para ma-drive ma niya yung maximum power out ng 500 watts. Okay. So, ang mga terminal nito, meron siyang uh, speaker protection. Then, for the speaker protection, you have to connect 220 volts AC uh, to these terminals, sa red ones. So, yun ang maging supply nitong relay. Then, uh, ito yung kanyang DC supply. Negative, ground, positive. Then, itong Pulo is uh, the speaker output and then ground for the speaker output. Uh, ito ating connection yan to siya. Diretso siya sa ating dummy load. Ang specs ng ating dummy load naman ay 4 ohms at 1000 watts resistive load. Okay, so gagamitan din natin siya ng. Uh, oscilloscope ang gagamitin natin is channel 1 uh, as the output ayun samba monitor yan doon siya nakakonect sa output itong yellow so itong yellow is the uh, output then itong magenta ay saan ba yun saan ba siya ah, ito sa, sa input yan itong itong cabling to para sa input niya so para meron tayong comparison ng uh, ng input signal at ng output signal then for uh, for the temperature monitoring so kailangan nating ma-check kung alin part sa mga nagiiinit like the heat sink itong uh, output coil or heatsink itong uh, SMPS yeah, as well as the temperature of the dummy load lang. so IR sya okay, so initially yan 29 degrees pa lang sya ay 27 yung dummy load yung heatsink nya ito 27 din malamig kasi na at ito, 27 din room temperature ayan, lahat sila yung heat sink niya okay then dito kailangan natin nga uh, iset isa sa mga kukunin natin ay yung uh, volt, voltage peak to peak Lagyan natin ng volt pick to pick at saka ng BRMS Yan <clears throat> so, so sa channel 1 
kaya makikita natin dito yung VP VP to peak at saka VRMS and then sa channel 3 naman ayun lagyan din natin siya now VP to peak at saka VRMS so peak to peak VP to peak VRMS ng channel 3 itong magenta at itong channel 1 itong yellow yan VP to peak and VRMS so bago natin i-connect ang power supply niya dito sa amplifier module of course we need first to test and check the power supply or this SMPS the switch mode power supply kasi may possibility na nasira siya during shipping and uh, ang worst scenario is yung nag over voltage na pala siya and susunugin niya na ang ating amplifier so SOP po yan mga ka-echo initially Gamitan natin ang bulb na nakasiris sa AC input ng power supply. So in case na may fault ang unit, i-absorb ng bulb yung high current para hindi masunog yung power supply na under test. So ito yung switch, ito may breaker tayo, and uh, ito yung power, uh, power cord nitong power supply. Okay, so yan ang connection natin. Ito yung uh, connector ng output. Uh, positive, ground, and uh, negative. Ayun. Yung blue is uh, 12 volt auxiliary voltage. Okay. Plug in na natin. And then, uh, turn on the breaker. Ayun. So, hindi siya umilaw. That means na wala tayong uh, fault sa SMPS. Then, check natin yung output voltage ng uh, power supply. Yan, positive and ground. Uh, we have 65.5 volts DC. Yan yung positive rail. And then, uh, yan, rail to rail tayo, positive and negative, we have 131 volts DC. 65.5 plus 65.5 ito naman yung negative rail ground to negative rail we have 65.45 DC so 131 rail to rail so we have a good power supply then a few moments later ok so turn on natin to switch for the power supply yan ok yan likot na sya yan nag click na yung uh, wave so ito yung waveform natin medyo may static ako dito so mga kable ko kaya medyo matataba yung aking mga linya so yan input natin 1 kilohertz and uh, ang amplitude is 1 volt peak oh, wika, naka 5 na pala sya Okay, 5 anyway 5 bo 5 volts peak to peak yung amplitude yan anyway dito, dito tayo sa channel 1 sa taas yan then frequency is 1 kilohertz okay so ito yung uh, level natin para, para input tap dito sa amplifier so push natin So, sa signal yan, ayan. Smooth pa yung kanilang. Sa, sa inside the wave. Channel 1, yellow. So, ang power mail, 11, 11.7 11 VRMS. And uh, 43 volts peak to peak. Okay. Push pa natin. Tasan pa natin. Ayan. So, kikita natin Malilis pa rin ang sine wave niya. Ilan na tayo? 23. Focus siya. 23.9. So, VRMS. So, push pa natin. Oops. Ayun, nag-pick na. Nag-clip na dito. Ilan na balls siya? 34. Ayan. 
Okay, yan siya. Yan yung kanya. 39 volts. Clip na siya. So, 39. 39 volts. 39.5. Okay, pa-pattern ng konti. Yan. So, 35. 30, 35 volts. Okay. Magamit pa naman siya so far. Medyo supply main. Medyo mainit na. Check natin ang temperature. Ayan. Yung heat sink niya is 50. Oh, nag 60 na siya. Power supply. Malamig pa rin tayo. Then, ang dami load. 78 degrees centigrade. Okay, gabana natin. Nang no, may nindi dami load. Okay. Ito okay lang dahil may fan naman. Ayan. Yung temperature ng uh, low ng coil is yun 47 46 degrees centigrade okay kung mainit dami load nasa 60 65 degrees then the heat heat sink is 40 plus okay i-crank po din natin ng Style. Yan, nagkaya niya o oh. Nagprotect siya Nagclick siya sa 50 55 volts RMS Yan o oh. <coughs> Pag over mode ay eh, makabalik siya Yan 37 37 B RMS Thirty-five volts. Okay, dito mayroon akong uh, isang formula to compute the power output ng isang amplifier ko nag FTC. V squared over R. So yung voltage, yung VRMS, yung root mean square, yung VRMS na sinusukat natin dito kanina. Itong power is yung output nitong class D amplifier. Ito dito. Pagkutang speaker. In, in terms of watts yung R ay yung dami load resistance in ohms so as I have mentioned earlier 4 ohms itong dami load natin so 4 ohms ito tas, uh, pwede natin gamitin yung 35 something yung medyo nakiklip na siya sa 35 volts so yun ang kanyang power compute natin so, kung 35 square over R is uh, 35 times 35 divided by 4. Yun, 306. So, yun ang power niya kanina sa 35 volts sa load na 4 ohms. 306 watts. Okay. So, I think uh, baka hindi ko na siya i-test ng 8 ohms at uh, wala akong nakasetup na 8 ohms pa so yun na muna ang video natin at uh, watch out na lang sa susunod kong EFTC ito nga uh, FO86000 ang sabi naman dito 1800 watts at 8 ohms per channel so, ito, this is a ground bridge topology. Ayun. So, ito yung uh, the rest of the Class D budget mill amplifier. And, uh, isa sa mga i-replace ko sa isang plate amp. Ayan, FOH15A. So, ito siya.
budget meal, power supply, yan, mixer, and board. Okay, salamat. And have a nice day.